Good morning, Vietnam. I was thinking about this uh, mark of the beast, you know, 666. And like, uh, when you don't have it, you cannot buy and sell, you know. You know, like, buy and sell, you know. What? You know, like, it's very important. I was thinking myself, like, buy and sell, like, it's very important. You know, and, and I was thinking, yes, yes, it's very important. Those religions, they came from, you know, Middle East, you know. This, uh, you know, souk culture, you know, in the souks, you know, merchants, you know. Buy my carpet, buy my carpet. You know, this is where they come from, those those shitty religions, you know. So this is why buying and selling is very important, you know. This is, yeah, I didn't see it like this, but but it's true. It's true, it's like, uh, I mean, the same the same concept you, you tell to other, you know, culture, not of this side of the world, you know, like some, you know, some tribes, some tribes in the islands, you know, in Pacific Islands, they will take whatever they have, you know, surplus, not using, and they will give it to the next island, to the next tribe. They just go with their boats, taking what they didn't use for, for, for the year or something, and they give it. They will not need it. And there they will find the other guys waiting for them with, with the stuff they don't need. They have more than what they need. You know, it, it was like this for some, for some tribes in, uh, in Pacific Islands, you know. So it doesn't work. This concept buy and sell, you know, it's a... It's, it's really important for this uh, Middle Eastern, you know, merchant uh, mentality, you know. So you, you understand why, 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 where those uh, religions come, uh, come from and for, for whom they are written, you know. For, uh, for, uh, for this kind of uh, buying and selling people, they're like very, very important for them, okay. Yeah, imagine the Indians, you know, North America, Indians. You know, like in the village, somebody suddenly, hey, fluffy bison, if you don't have mark of the beast, uh, we cannot buy and sell. You know, and a fluffy bison, you will look, what? Buy and sell? What? What we need? Woman not happy? What's the problem? You know, he will not understand why suddenly buy and selling is, is like important, you know? You know? And beast, he would say, what beast? You said, why, what beast? The black wolf we saw yesterday, I think he took two, two chicken. We, we put a mark on him, we said, you, you know, Morocco village not happy with the wolf? What's happening? He will not compute, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's in this part of the world that buying, selling money is important, you know. Okay, so this is why it's threatening with the... the with buying and selling is like uh, working apparently, you know, because of consumerism and stuff. It's, it's all shit, you know. I mean, if you, they, they could have threatened with something more, you know, maybe more important, like if you don't have mark of the beast, you cannot access your woman or something, your wife, you know. Like you see this chastity belt, you know, it opens with your RFID ship. If you don't have it, you cannot access it. You will say, F fuck shit, this is, chief commander is getting very really inventive, you know, he's really thinking, you know, about, you know, and then it opens, you know, like a Iron Mind style, you know, and access granted, you know, something like that, you know, this ridiculous, you know, this mark of the beast, you know. Yeah, so it's, a, it's really, and if you don't have mark of the beast, let's say if you don't have mark of the beast, they, they, those merchants, there is always, everything is negotiable, you know, everything solved with money, okay? Uh, sir, I want to buy, I don't have mark of the beast, you know. You don't have mark of the beast, 6% more. Ah, 6, you really like the 6s, okay, 6%. It's always, everything solved with the money with these cultures, you know. You, you will just pay a little bit of tax for not having mark of the beast. Uh, you don't believe me? Check the, the old religions. Religion number one. You know, when you, you, you borrow money from another one of them, there is no interest. Between themselves, there is no interest. But if, if, if they lend money, if they lend money to others, if you, you want money from them, they have to charge you interest, you know? So it was business. Before, before it was always business. So interest only for uh, the people who were not in the religion. You know, money. It was money already. Like it's a big, big problem in this part of the world. You know, Middle East religions. 
You know, buy my carpet, buy my carpet. This is the level of your fucking religions, okay? Buy my carpet, you know? And the third religion, if you are, if, if you are not in the, the good religion, you have to pay tax. You have to pay tax, check it. On the third religion, monotheist, if you are not from the a good religion, the, the law is clear, it is, is, in, is in their books. You have to pay a tax, a tax for not being from the third religion. It was always about money, guys. In this part of the world, not in the other cultures, you know? This is why they don't understand what the fuck is this, is these people about, you know? They, they don't get them. A lot of cultures, they don't get this, uh, this part of the madness of the world, you know? Religions, submission, they like to submit, they like to nail, nail on the floor. You know, some cultures, they don't have this shit, you know? Buying and selling is not like some big problem for them, you know, it's not important. You know, they have more stuff, you know, the, the, the Indians, they will, you know, sm smoke the tobacco and watching the, the stars, you know, and enjoying the, the spirits of nature or something. So it's in this part of the world that we have this 666 and the buy and sell shit, you know. Yeah, so I was thinking also, uh, what, like this uh, Mark of the Beast, so suddenly from old books, it was linked to the RFID ship, you know, a certain moment, you know, like RFID ship, which is the mark of the pets. They put it on the pets when you lose the pets and it's technology of the, the 80s, you know, it's 80s where this RFID ships, you know. And uh, now it, uh, for a human being, it doesn't, doesn't make sense, guys. It's finished. It's... Uh, the, the, the technology now is biometric recognition. My phone recognizes my face. My bank, which is... My bank is in the fucking cloud. You see nobody, you talk to nobody. The phone recognizes your face. The phone registered your face. Everything is biometrical. There is no RFID in my hand, nothing. It's, it's about my face and biometric and very sophisticated technology. Amazon is you are using the, uh, the palm, the palm of your hand as a signature. You know, that now there is no RFID uh, shit. There was a Swedish company, you know, putting RFID in the people. And I said, this is ridiculous, you know. And the guy was showing how he get his hand uh, close to the stuff. And I said, uh, man, we are we are into biometric. We are not using mark of the pets of the 80s. It's finished. You are a little bit late. Okay. Then I understood. I understood those humans, you know. Those humans, they have fetishes. They have fetishes when they put piercings, you know. Those motherfuckers, they put pieces of metal in their nipples, fucking nipples, it's, it's a sensitive fucking zone, you know, how do you put a piece of metal in your nipples, you know, on uh, at the top of your, of your eye, you know, this, this sensitive place, I, I will, I will be like struggling to take it out, to take this shit out of me very quickly, it, it, it's disgusting, it makes me vomit, you know, but people like this kind of shit, okay, they, they, there is some people, they like this kind of shit, you know, so imagine that something that opens the door, you know, that they, they do this, it's like more, more of this, you know, this fetish, like more, you know, features for this period, you know, the tattoo people, you know, putting, you know, you understand this shit, the stuff that really revolts, you know, t turns my heart back, I, I like to vomit. I mean, always when you don't like something, they, tell, they say it's a phobia, phobia is like fear, you know, phobia is a... It's like fear, but it's not fear, it's disgust, you know, they have to invent the real world, you know. It's a lot of phobies are not phobies, like, it's not, it's not that I'm afraid, I, I'm, I'm just, I want to vomit. A vomi a vomitia, I have a vomitia of, of, of piercings and all this shit, you know. Makes me vomit, okay. So, I understood that RFID is kind of, you know, uh, a fetish, a fetish which is, uh, you know, related to some, you yeah, know, the perversion of this humanity, okay. Yeah, so this uh, this was my uh, mark of the beast stuff, you know, 666, you know, the chief commander and shit, you know, all this bullshit we are in. Self, you know, self made they make stories and they make uh, make them happen, you know, tell the stories to those damn bosses. And then make the movie uh, deploy in front of their eyes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I hope this, uh, this garbage religions uh, very quickly go to the... To the sewage, sewage, they, they deserve religions of submission, of always expecting, it's always there, it's going to happen, the mark, the, the, the savior is going to come in the future, the mark is going to come, you're going to be marked and this and this, but the savior will save you, and you are just, uh, you know, passive, uh, 
you know, a passive uh, sheep, you know, you know, getting uh, raped continuously. Okay, I hope this shit disappears. I, I wish some dignity cultures, you know, stand up. I don't know how much there is on the planet, like some standing man, you know, not fearful, not waiting for saviors, but saving themselves, defending their families. You know, some strong women caring about their children by by the well-being of their houses, of, you know, of their family, you know. Th this kind of people I want to see standing, you know. And apparently, yeah, that with the cleaning that is happening now, that's the only shit that's going to be left is, is the strong people, the powerful people, the people who, who, are, who are not waiting, who are looking inside to find the power, you know, and to find, to find the, the solution is inside of us. It's in our vibration, in our fleshes, you know, in our atoms, you know, in our consciousness, in our being. See you in the next video.